What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to dramatically improve your FPS in Valorant. To do this I made this FPS and input delay pack which you can download in the description down below. It will take you to this link and you can simply download the file from here and then you want to drag it onto your desktop. If you can't open the file you will need to install a program like Winra or 7-zip and then you can open it like this and you simply want to drag this folder onto your desktop like that after that you can delete the downloaded file you don't need it anymore once you downloaded it you simply want to open the folder and head into step one first of all there's a batch file which you can simply start and this will delete all your temporary files these are basically files which your computer doesn't use anymore and it's just using a lot of this space and you don't really need those files anymore so you simply want to open it press yes if anything shows up and once it says press any key you want to press any key and that will close the thing again and you're already done with the first batch yeah uh, secondly you want to disable prefetch what this does, it basically frees up disk usage and it can prevent overheating. And this will give you a huge performance boost in game depending on how cluttered your disk is. So you want to simply open this up, also press yes. And once it's done, you want to press any key again. After that, you want to open this folder and mine is empty. And that's basically what you need to do. You need to delete everything that that's in this folder for you also this frees up a lot of this space again and it just makes you load in faster yeah it's just much much better then you want to go on to the last point which is disk cleanup you want to open this and select the drive on which valorant is installed if you have multiple ones for me it's c and you select it and this will basically load and open up this window right here. In here you want to choose all the files which you want deleted. Um, I'm choosing everything except uh, downloads and my drivers or the driver packages. I, that's not the real drivers but yeah. I'm just not going to mess with those. Um, yeah, Then you want to press OK. Yes, OK again. And this will load a little bit. You can, while this is loading, you can head over to step two. To start off with step two, we're going to be disabling your Windows Defender. I suggest you get another program that is good for like, that's like an antivirus program, which is not Windows De Defender because it can use up a lot of RAM and just be very inefficient with your system resources which you definitely need when you're playing valorant so i suggest maybe getting like malwarebytes that's the one i'm using or basically any other good antivirus program which is not windows defender to disable this you simply want to drag the disable file onto the power run like this and then press yes yes and okay and once you restart your pc windows defender will be disabled and if you don't want to do that or you maybe change your mind after doing it you can always enable it by dragging the enable file onto power run second thing you're going to do is disable all the apps from running in the background which you don't need these are basically like background apps which you don't even realize that are running and you simply want to open this press yes yes okay and that's basically that Next up, we're going to be disabling diagnostics and telemetry services. This basically sends data over to Microsoft and it basically spies out your PC and takes up a lot of RAM. So don't use this uh, to disable it. You want to drag it onto power run. Press yes. Yes. And OK. And yeah, that's done. For the next step you're going to be disabling full screen optimization globally simply open this up yes yes okay and now your games will run smoother in full screen 
and for the next step you're going to be disabling the game bar you probably know what the game bar is is it's like when you open a game when you first install the windows there's like a little windows integrated game bar which opens up with it and it's just really bad and it also uses a lot of cpu and ram usage which you want to be freed up when you're playing valorant so simply disable the game bar by clicking on the file and for the last week we're going to be doing some tweaks to the mmm mmcss files and basically this will prevent your cpu from limiting games to 80 percent cpu usage and it will also prevent network throttling meaning you might even get better ping or a better network connection overall so definitely run this as well press yes yes and okay step number three it has to do with input delay you simply want to try out the best settings for you i'm using 28 which gives you the lowest input latency because i'm not experiencing any stutters or anything when i'm using this so yeah just try out what's best for you if you want to reset it back to default you can simply click the 26 hex so i'm choosing 28 yes yes okay done with this if it's causing any problems simply revert it or try the others out first um yeah and for the last step you want to simply disable hpet st and dt hpet is high precision event timer and disabling that may basically gives you better latency and fps st is synthetic timers it will improve your uh, system latency overall and the dt is for dynamic ticks this basically can cause a lot of latency issues or even stutters in the worst cases so you don't want to have these enabled that's why you're opening this and once it says press any key you want to press any key and you're basically done with the fps pack and lastly you want to right click on your valorant and go over to compatibility um first of like right click and then go to properties then compatibility right here and you want to make sure this box is checked it says disable full screen optimization you want to make sure it's checked then press apply and okay and that's basically it for my fps guide if you have any questions leave them down below and make sure to let me know how much fps you gained through this guide